Hey Park Explorers, my name is Ranger Sandy and I'd like to welcome you to the Museum in the Parks program. Today we're really excited to share with you one of Florida's most beautiful springs, Gilchrist Blue. Originally a private park, Ruth B. Kirby Gilchrist Blue Springs State Park was bought by the state and opened as a state park in 2017. People from around the state flocked to Gilchrist Blue to swim in its radiant blue water. And, just like us humans, wildlife flocks to Gilchrist Blue too. Turtles, wading birds, and even snakes rely on the spring's refreshing water to survive. This month's program is all about fish, one of the most abundant residents at Gilchrist Blue. From tiny mosquito fish to largemouth bass, fish rely on our springs being clean and healthy for their survival. So, Today, we're going to explore different places in the park as you look on your hunt for fish and also different ways in which you can explore the park while you're here. Your first stop should, of course, be the gorgeous Gilchrist Blue Spring, spewing an average of 44 million gallons of water each day. This spring is one of the most scenic in the state. Enjoy splashing around in the spring swimming area then grab a towel and rent a canoe or kayak and see the springs run, where its cool water flows for a quarter of a mile out to the Santa Fe River. The lush grasses are home to many fish species, and the crystal clear water will make it easy for you to spot them as you glide overhead. Once you've had your fun on the water, follow the short path from Gilchrist Blue to Naked Spring another second magnitude spring whose water flows into the same run as Gilchrist Blue. While no swimming is allowed here, you can still get some great views of fish from the banks of this scenic spring. Still want to keep exploring? Grab your hiking boots and head to the park's nature trail. Just under a mile long, this trail is full of deep sinkholes, secret springs, and even a 350-year-old tree. Named Eric the Giant, be sure to get a picture next to this towering cypress. By the time you finish your hike, you'll be ready for one last dip in Gilchrist Blue to end your adventure. Between swimming, paddling, and hiking, our springs can be some of the most fun places to explore in Florida. However, our springs are very delicate and it's up to us to make good decisions to make sure that they stay healthy and we stay safe. Here are some do's and don'ts to help your park visit be more enjoyable. Do stay in the swimming area when playing in the spring. Don't walk through the spring run. The spring run is full of grasses and other plants that are important to the wildlife who survive in the spring. By stepping on them, we can sometimes harm or even destroy these plants. Do bring a reusable water bottle to the park. Don't leave behind trash and other items. Bringing a reusable water bottle and always cleaning up after yourself is a great way to keep our springs clean. Do stay on the park's trails and walkways. Don't wander off the trail. The park's trails and paths are meant to get you from one place to another safely without disturbing any of the park's plants and animals. When we wander off the trail, we might trample sensitive plants or step on hidden animals. Do have fun! We hope you had a great time visiting Gilchrist Blue Springs here today as part of the Museum and the Parks program. Remember, it's up to all of us to make sure our springs stay healthy for us and the fish who live in it. So grab your gear and your family and your friends and come on down. We hope to see you soon.